Do you have a heavy mess that needs cleaned up? Check out my review of Spick and Span coming up next on Mumbles. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles. On today's Mumbles review, I'm reviewing this Spick and Span Extra Strength Powder. Now, this is a cleaner for your home for a lot of different things we're going to talk about. But this is what it looks like. It comes in a powder form and in a box. It also comes in a liquid form, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn off my green screen like this and then show it to you. Boom! Spick and Span Liquid Formula. Put back on my background. There you go. So we're talking about Spick and Span today, guys. Now, one thing I do want to mention between the liquid and the powder, powder is supposed to be stronger. So just be aware of that as I go through this review. But what the heck can you use this Spick and Span stuff for? And does it work? Let's let's find out. Now I'm going to read this from the box. It's right here on the back of the box. And it will still be on your screen. Made for deep down cleaning of those tough jobs where liquid cleaners are just not enough. Still the no rinse formula. Three ways to use Spick and Span. Use straight from the box for tough spot stains. Use dilute mix for cleaning floors, walls in the home with no rinse requires. And use powder mix to tackle those nasty cleaning chores in the basement, garage, outside the home, and when you need a bit more scrubbing action for large areas. Now there is some directions here that show you kind of what you can use and I'm going to talk, I'm going to read those to you as well just so we have a good understanding of what this stuff is for. Big jobs, floors and walls to clean painted walls, finished woodwork, ceilings, waxable and non-waxable floors floors use the dilute mix mixture only wash walls a section at a time from the bottom up to avoid streaking no rinsing needed before using on wallpaper to just test a small area kitchen surfaces to clean grease and stubborn skin stains from stoves refrigerators sinks countertops and all washable modern surfaces use the straight from the box or dilute mixture i'm going to caution you guys on this do a small area maybe an area that's not noticeable just to make sure that you don't have it too strong or anything you don't want to stain anything bathroom surface Use straight from the box or dilute mixture to clean sinks, tubs, countertops, and other washable surfaces. To clean toilets, pour straight from the box into the toilet, scrub with the brush, and flush. To clean delicate surfaces such as fiberglass, bathtubs, and other acrylic or soft plastic surfaces, use dilute mixture only. Not recommended for unpainted aluminum surfaces. Garage basement. Use straight from the box or powdered mix to clean concrete floors, brick surfaces, basement surfaces, utility sinks, a, ba a basement and garage door and window trim. Use sponge scrubbing brush or mop as necessary. Finally, outside the house. Use straight from the box or powder mix to clean concrete floors, driveways, patios, brick surfaces, outdoor furniture, grills, and other washable surfaces. Use sponge scrubbing sp brush or mop as necessary. On painted or vinyl sliding, use dilute mixture only. Not recommended for washing cars or unpainted aluminum surfaces. Now there is also directions on how to mix this up straight from the box, blah, 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 blah. I'll just put this on the screen here. There you go. And ah! that's basically what this stuff could do. This is a cleaner like you've never seen before. It works great. It smells good. This is the sun fresh smell and it just has a nice clean smell. Even sitting here or even in the box right now, it smells good. I love a nice clean smell and that's exactly what Spick and Span gives you. Now, recently we use Spick and Span to clean a lot of different things, and I'm going to show you some of that footage here. My only real con for this is this stuff can be a little bit hard to find, but with the invent of Amazon and things like that, not that hard to find. You can get four boxes for a price of around $20, and uh, it's a really good deal, honestly. So that's all I really got to say about this stuff. As far as I'm concerned, this product gets a 5 out of 5. If you need something to clean your walls or clean your floor or do multiple cleaning jobs, you cannot beat Spick and Span. Great product, 5 out of 5. I definitely recommend it. Anyways, guys, this has been my review of Spick and Span. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Um, please make sure to smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and smack all those buttons. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.